Hello you two. So today we're going to carry on with our instructions and you're going to need your work from yesterday. You'll see why in a second, but this is what we're going to be learning today. We're going to write some really basic instructions. We're going to need to use some vocabulary specific to instructions. We're going to make sure we've got accurate punctuation and we need to make sure our writing makes sense. So let's find out a bit more. So remind yourself of our instructions learning so far. What are the six main features of instructions? And then have a look through yesterday's work and the pictures that you put in order. What instruction could you give for each picture? So you might want to pause the video, have a chat with someone. What is happening? What instruction, remember to be bossy, would you give for each picture that you ordered yesterday? So today it's time to start writing our instructions. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a really simple command sentence for each picture that you ordered yesterday. And we need to make sure that each command sentence contains an imperative verb. It's really important that this isn't a recount. We're not explaining what we did. We're not writing in the past tense. Well, first I cut it out and then I did this and then I sewed it up. We're trying to be bossy. We're instructing people. We're commanding people. So what we're going to do is we're not going to worry about adding loads of detail today. That's what we're going to do next week. All we need to do today is write a simple command sentence for each picture, making sure we start that sentence with a capital letter and end it with a full stop. And what would be a really good idea is to make sure it's definitely a command sentence is that each one, each sentence that you write today begins with an imperative verb. So I'm going to show you some examples. So I'll show you my examples in a second, but you need to write your sentence next to each picture in the space that you left yesterday. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. You also need to leave space around each sentence that you write. So next week we can add a bit more. You also need to make sure it's a proper command sentence. And some of you could also think about instead of cut for everything, every time we cut something with the scissors, Perhaps you could think of words like snip. Perhaps you could think of some fancy words to impress me and Mrs Lee. So this is how you need to present your work. You've got your piece of paper and you've got your pictures that you ordered yesterday and we left that big space blank. So for that first picture, my simple command sentence, I've put a number one so we know this was first. Pin on the template, that's it. I haven't put a full stop though, which was a bit naughty. So. What I want you to do is just think of a command sentence like that. It starts with an imperative verb, and my imperative verb here is pin. I don't need to say carefully. I don't need to add any of that because I'm going to do that next week. I just need to make sure today that I've got a really simple command sentence that is numbered. So my next one, I've got some full stops now. Number two, cut out the body, cut out the mask, belt and cape. I can add next week that it's out of felt or what colour it's going to be. But today I've got cut as my verb. Each sentence there starts with the imperative verb cut. Then for number three, I've put glue on. Remember, if you sewed it on, you could put sew on. Glue on the mask, belt and cape. And I've started with an imperative verb glue. All of those sentences that I've written are bossy. They're all commands like we learned about last week. And I haven't got any extra detail yet because I'm just making sure I'm being bossy enough. OK, make sure you can see I've left some space so that there's room for me to add more next week. So that is your job for today. Find your pictures from yesterday and write a simple command sentence for each picture. Remember capital letters and full stops and that we're going to add more information next week. Today is just to make sure we can write command sentences properly. Now, you were really good at them last week, so I'm hoping they're going to be even more amazing today. Remember, you could think of some fancy words if you really wanted to as well. Once you've written your command sentences, you will need to keep this work safe for next week when we add a bit more to it. You can still send me and Mrs Lee a picture of your work, but do keep it safe because next week we're going to make it even better. These are going to be the best instructions. So I hope you enjoy writing these sentences. Make it bossy. It's your chance to boss people about and we're looking forward to reading them.